yeah hello guys it is another wonderful edition of what i learned from football this time around it is what i learned from the game between Hayas and tottenham hotspur sincerely speaking i must tell you this is fantastic this is great this is wonderful do you know we just witnessed another comeback in history another comeback that looks as if it was never going to happen it looked as if it was not possible it looked as if this was a concluded story it was like a script that that the the hand had been written and the full stop was already penned down but what just happened there are you serious with me seriously seriously speaking i i am not a diehard fan of football but I am really learning a lot from these games these days. Sincerely speaking, I thought we, we, we've had enough from Liverpool um, victory over uh, Barcelona. But what just happened today also confirmed that, see, regardless of whatever might happen to you, regardless of the situation you might find yourself, regardless of how things around you might paint itself to look like, it never pays to give up. Giving up is it should never be an option at all. Because when you give up, you give up to yourself. You don't give up. Who do you give up to? A lot of people had committed suicide because they feel depressed. They feel as if life is, is, is no longer fair to them. So they feel, oh, the best option is by taking their life. When you take your life, you've only taken your own life, not hers. You've only ended the journey for yourself and not knowing what you could have done. He who gives up never know what he or she would have done. But just look at what the game of football is teaching you and I. This is so crazy. Are you serious? This is so fantastic. This is what we can learn. I, 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 I'm kind of very, very sad for guys out there who just you know, stick to this game of football. They, 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 they play away their, their, their destiny around it and still don't learn something meaningful from it. And this is why I've chosen to, you know, to do this video so that even if you are a die-hard fan of football, I want you to know that there are a lot of things that you can pick out from this, from, from, from this wonderful sport that you watch every day, every now and then. Funny enough, Tottenham Hotspur, you know, they came, they, they came to the Champions League being fought on the table. And they, they had lost their first leg also. Not even that, even after first half, they were two goals down. But this, this didn't stop them. This didn't end the journey for them. They, they never felt like, oh, this, this is the end for us. They kept on, they, they, they fought and fought and fought and what? I am, I am surprised. I am so surprised with the outcome tonight. Seriously speaking, I, I would give this Tottenham comeback as the best comeback, seriously. This is the best comeback. Liverpool did well, and <laughs> this is to tell you that the final is a game between two people or two teams who are so determined, who, who are so confident, and who are ready to do whatever it takes to crown the champions of Champions League. This is wonderful. No, no, do you know what? See, the Ayers team was wonderful. They were they, obviously they were better players. And I want to take this away from, from, from this video. And that is the fact that see, you don't necessarily have to be the best. No, 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 no. You don't necessarily have to be the best, but you have to be the right person to give the best. You can be the best, but not be the right person to give to give that 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 best. But the, the Tottenham um, players were good. The highest players were also good. The, the, the highest player obviously played better. They, they had chances. They were young. They were vibrant. They were energetic. But the, 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 the sport player did not allow this to pull them down. Yes, they were the ones that were available to really show who was the best. So, regardless of whatever you have, if you cannot put it into play, if you cannot make it to achieve a, a, a particular goal, then be the best without result is just useless. So, I, I'm not going to bore you. Please, I'm not going to bore you. I want us to all 
be together for the match between Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspot. Come 1st of June. Yes, 1st of June 2019. Yes, I would, <laughs> I would love to watch this match and see what is going to happen. And I know you and I, you also join me to see what's going to happen. Liverpool, Tottenham, let's see who will be crowned the king of never giving up. Yes, who will become the king of never giving up? Is it going to be Liverpool? Is it going to be Tweet? Is it going to be Tottenham Hotspot? I'm going to put a, 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 a pull to this video when I share it. I want you to tell me and choose who you think is going to be crowned the king of not giving up. And trust me, I have a gift to give out. I have a gift for for for, for um, the first person who predicts whoever is going to be crowned the king of not giving up. This is compliment of me, courtesy of me rather. I have a gift for you. Just tell me who you think is going to be crowned the king of not giving up. Let me leave you with this word. Life is short. You have just one life to live. So live it in fulfillment every day. Peace out.